Hi everyone! So as many of you know, my camera is broken, so I've decided to step a little outside my comfort zone and come and update you guys on Instagram and TikTok and let you know how my third year of medical school is going, especially now that I've started my dissertation. So for those of you who don't know, um, at the University of Nottingham Medical School, when you get to third year, you have the opportunity to write a dissertation and that helps you get a biomedical sciences degree in the middle of your medical degree. And in the summer, we had to rank a whole list of dissertation options. And after getting allocated one, once third year starts, you start writing your dissertation. Now, the dissertation topic that I got was my third, third was my seventh choice and i was very very distraught i wasn't happy but i've come to love it so let me tell you guys what it's about it's a service evaluation which is where you evaluate a service um for example provided by the nhs and you judge how well it's doing and you comment on any room for improvement my dissertation topic is quite lengthy so bear with it's the incidence of acute kidney injury in patients undergoing a neuroradiology procedure under general anaesthetic so for those of you who are not sure what this is, which is completely fair enough, I didn't know what it was when I started the project. I'm looking at patients who have undergone an emergency neuroradiology procedure. Instead of treating aneurysms and strokes by cracking open the skull and a neurosurgeon fixing it all, you insert a catheter, which is a tiny tube in the groin and feed it up through the patient's vessels up to the brain and you can treat common disorders of the head, neck and spine in this way. And what I'm looking at is what the risk factors and how common is it that these patients then go on to develop acute kidney injury. So it's actually very exciting. I get to work closely with the anesthetics department. Um, my supervisor is so lovely. She's very keen on me getting work experience in anesthetics and she has given me a little office on the ward now, no one calls it my office. It isn't technically my office, but she has given me a little room to work in. It's never in use. And she says I can come in whenever I want to do my work. So I'm going to call it my office and I might take in a cactus or something to decorate it. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited and I'm so excited to update you guys on how it goes. So I hope you guys are all excited for that. I'll see you in the next one.